September is here, and now is the time to go through your closets and donate your gently used winter gear to help keep families warm this winter. The 33rd annual, can you believe it, wow. Coats for Kids campaign with our partners Clinky Cleaners, the Community Action Coalition, and Magic 98 is underway. High Point Christian School in Madison steps up every year in a very big way. Corey Lovechick and Jen Pingle are with the High Point Christian Parent Student Organization, and they join us live from High Point Christian School. Hi there, well, welcome. Welcome, ladies. Good evening. Hi. Thanks Thank for having you. us. Great to see you both. Thank you so much for your support every year. Tell us a little bit about why you feel so strongly to get involved with this campaign. Well, the Bible says that the greatest commandment is to love um, the Lord our God with our mind and soul and all our strength, and then to love our neighbor as ourselves. So we feel like it's a great way to give back to the community and sh spread some love in the cold winter here. There's a, there's a lot of ways to do that, but you selected this particular campaign. Why? Well, it seems like uh, High Point has rocked this campaign since it has started, um, and we just have great turnout from the kids and family here at High Point. Um, last year, we had collected 190 uh, winter coats. Now, that is just winter coats that was not mittens, hats, scarves, um, snow pants, boots, anything like that also. So we have a pretty good turnout every year, and we try to keep going for number one. <laughs> that is really amazing, especially considering, Jen, how big is your school? How, how big is the school? student body at High Point Christian? There's 234 students this year, so that's um, 4K through 8th grade. So everybody yes. collected <laughs> more than one coat. That, that's very impressive. Yes. Almost, yeah. yeah. It's, it's great. Yeah. So we go by daily through the classrooms. Um, we ask that the homeroom teachers collect the coats and put them outside their classroom door. Um, Jen and I swing by every morning. We um, grab all the coats, we do count tallies, and then we drop them off daily at Clinky Cleaners um, to be cleaned. Uh, we do do a poster so the kids can keep track of yeah. which class is um, bringing in the most coats. And we do do a donut party um, for the winning class. We do one with the middle school and then one with the elementary kids. So that's always a great incentive, too, to bring in more coats. Plus, you get to meet Gary Cannell. Yeah, Gary Cannell, yes, he's handing out an award. That's right. And you also mentioned, just besides coats, you need all sorts of winter gear. Mittens and snow pants and everything else. Correct. Correct. Yeah. We all know that our winter Wisconsins are very harsh and cold. So anything that, you know, your grandparents, your neighbors, aunts, whoever, you know, see if you can go through their closets and clean them out, and yes. we'll take whatever you have. All right. Well, keep up the great work, and uh, hope you're number one again. <laughs> Thanks to you guys awesome. for all you Thank do. You. Thank you. Thank you. You can drop off your gently used coats and hats and mittens and scarves at any Clinky Cleaners or the Lucher Family YMCA now through Saturday, October 6th. And thank you in advance to everybody who's helped us Absolutely. all these 33 years. 33 years and it's still going strong. That's true. And there's a real need for it and every year. Every year yep.